Hey guys, how's it going? All right, I've got an awesome haul for you today. This is from a company called Stamp Boutique, and I'm sure you guys have heard of them. They do really awesome stamps. Um, and unfortunately, the um, the owner of the company, the lady, had a tragedy in her family, and so my order was taking a little longer. Um, and but she sent me this. Uh, well, she she kept in contact by email, which is really awesome too. Um, but, uh, she sent, and she said, thank you for your patience and understanding. And she sent me this really cool, uh, stamp boutique, uh, apron. So how cool is that? Cause when you're stamping, especially when you're doing like mixed media, you do get a lot of stuff on you <laughs> or somehow it ends up on me anyway. I don't know if you guys do, but I'm a messy crafter. So, um, yeah, this is awesome and protects your clothing and was super, super sweet her. So, all right. Um, now, I did it in two orders, and then she ended up sending them um, together, which was awesome, because um, I ordered them, I guess, back before school started. Or, I mean, yeah, before I went back to school. Um, but I got them recently, so I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. But um, hopefully soon. I think Sundays are going to be my new crafting day. Um, I've been really busy at work, and it just it doesn't slow down at least for another month, honestly, it just, it's, it'll be insane until then, um, but, and then, it's, it's not what I call slow, but, you know, it's, you can start to maybe function, um, so, um, I'm gonna try to figure out stamping in life, and, um, I still want my stamping in there, it's just, you know, real life takes over sometimes, so, all right, so, this is the, uh, the company, so it's stampboutique.com, and if you haven't checked that company out, check it out because you will adore it. They have some really, really interesting stamps. Um, I like this particular guy, Daniel Torrente, I guess is the way you say his name. I don't know, Torrent, I don't know. Anyway, um, he just does some really cool, I don't know, really cool designs. So I got this little guy, and I don't have names on them all, but I think I'm going to take the the list and like go back and write the names on the side just for myself um and as well as my others and this is the only company they do sell uh clean mounted stamps so you can get them with just the clean there's no price difference or anything um but for some reason this is the only company i've pretty much unmounted all my stamps uh, except for this company and just a few other little random stamps that i have not many um just because it's easier to store and that's I have the storage system going on but these I just keep in the um, like the iris cart drawer things the 12 by 12s and I kind of try to section them off like guys or girls or you know Halloween or whatever um, but many of these could be used like this is not particularly Halloween but look it's like a really cool monster dude you know I mean he could be totally Halloween so um, yeah but anyway so we've got this guy but you can use them for so much. I know, you know, they may look a little specific like this with the bunny. You would think Easter, right? Um, but not necessarily. You can use this for a lot of things. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> he's just kind of, he's cool and creepy, which I love. Um, and they're so well made. They stamp out perfect. Like, they're awesome. They do, like on the wood mount, you know, I'm not going to lie, it does take up some room. But I think they're just like little pieces of art. And I just want to see them. So, I might end up unmailing them in the future. But I, I don't know. I just like them on here. Um, now, however, I would like to be able to use them in my Misty. That's the only thing. So, but they stamp so well that you really don't have any issues stamping. So, you don't have to double stamp. And that's kind of why I have the Misty. So, there's that. Um... But anyway, so here he's eating a bowl of soup or cereal or something. Or maybe brains. I don't know. So, there's this guy. And then a couple of words. Approach with caution. Happy Halloween, dearie. Um, the cubes. We'll get into those in a few minutes. Here are some girls. Um, she's got her cool bow in her hair there. Creepy cute. And here she's got like little, I feel like it's little wings and ballet shoes. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to have to check the, uh, the witches because I think I might already have one of these. 
but I can't remember exactly, so if I do, I'll do a giveaway or something and send it on to you guys, but um, I don't remember which one, but they, they look familiar, so um, so there's this one with the broom, this one with the cauldron. I want to almost say it's this one, but I'm not. I'll have to check. Um, and then this one, but I love their little faces and the little jagged teeth and all that good stuff. So cool. And then you have to have some uh, witch accessories here, some little bottles. You could use this for Valentine's Day too. I like love potion number nine, right? Um, a cauldron. And this, I wish I could have a whole collection of these at my house. Um, they're the little Venus flytrap, you know, the man-eating, uh, well, on the movies anyway, plants. Um, but yeah, I totally, this is uh, Virginia, England. I don't know. But I have like lots of these statues. And Michael's has some really cool like um, metal statue things. And I have one, so I hate to buy more. But I would love to have like a set of three just for decoration for Halloween. Um, and then I've got these two guys. I love these. I think I had a smaller version of one of them maybe. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I love those. And look at the skull in the star. How awesome so cool then this this girl it rocks like come on she's fabulous don't you think <laughs> I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but I love this stuff nice little candelabra there um, some uh, film strip stuff and that could be anything then we've got our shopping list uh, and potion and spills on the side, so that's cool. So we've got two jars of uh, Ive Newt, 80 grams of fresh vampire bat wings, 25 grams of tongue viper, anyway, centipede legs, uh, tarantula legs, snake oil, uh, spools of spider web thread, um, whole fresh millipedes, bag of fireflies, one small bag of fireflies, castor seeds, uh, rosary pea seeds, um, mancranial tree sap, I don't know what that is, giant hogweed sap, uh, swamp water, black sea water, bottle fire water, crushed gator teeth, snake scale, scorpion venom, so, and all the measurements, so that's cute. And then this, I love this scene. Um, and you could mask it off and just use, like, just the bookcase if you wanted. And then you could add these little, wherever they went, the little bottles, like, with a 3D thing and cut them out. I feel like there's some eyeballs. The black cat, of course. Um, skulls and crystals and whatnot. But, or you could, you could mask that off. You could just do the window scene if you want. But there's that. Um, and then this adorable little snail with his for the back you know for like the shell of the snail as a little skull so that is awesome and then I got some cubes mm. so this is um, just candy but there's like faces in there and there's a heart and what's that say candy okay um so we've got a little chalice there some books um i think i want to say that's why i got it let me let me stamp it out and i will show you let me just put some of these back in here So I typically only order from here um, once or twice a year, maybe. And so I like to kind of make my orders count and do a little bit larger order. Um, so isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? So, all right. Let me clean that off a little. Okay. So I'm, I'm not going to stamp them all out, but um, let's see. It's hard to read them without stamping them out, but... Honestly, all crows are not ravens. Okay, so this must be the crow block. 
There's two crow blocks, I think. And I'm not inking these up perfect. She decided to come uh, become a crow for the rest of her life. I love that. I'm going to get ink all over my fingers. Crow is an omen of change. And, and the crow once called the raven black. All right, so there is that one. You know, really, I should just, I was going to stamp these out anyway. I should make myself a, what do you call it, like a, a guide or whatever, but I'll do that later. I just got back from the center of the universe. I didn't see you anywhere. I'm not weird. I'm limited edition. I think I just threw up in my mouth. <laughs> uh, you're getting on my last nerve. Okay, so I did that one. All right, two, two more to go here. Make sure I'm got them turned upright a little bit. Melancholy is the most legitimate of all the poet, the poetical tones. Uh, there are some secrets which do not permit themselves to be told. So Poe said that. I love old Edgar Allan Poe. Alright, I remained too much inside my head and ended up losing my mind. Also Poe. That which you mistake for madness is but an over acuteness for the, of the senses. Poe again. Okay, so yeah, that's all of those. Let's go this one. Is that the right way? If men had wings and wore black feathers, few of them would be clever enough to be crows. Okay, yay, this is the other crow one. It's only a murder of crows if there's probable calls. Can I get a call? Anyway. <laughs> That's my crow sound, y'all. Alright. Be, like uh, be like a crow. Collect shiny things. Hop down the street. Scream loudly when you see your friends. Alright. Last one here. Crow calls to awaken you. This is why I got the thing right here. Crow calls to awaken you to your true soul to remind you to follow your heart. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so anyway, and they have lots lots of other blocks and things to choose from. So, um, and you, it's, it's pretty nice because you get four stamps, you know, in one. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, guys, that is my haul for today. And um, so thank you once again, uh, Carol, for the Stampotique. Um, vet, not vest, <laughs> the stamp boutique apron. I love that. Thank you so much. And I hope you are doing wonderful and well. And uh, you are in my thoughts. So, all right, guys, check out this amazing company and tell me what you think. Talk to y'all later. Bye.